When handling large data sets in Excel, it is common to utilize the index and match functions together to perform advanced lookups within your data. But did you know these tools can be even more powerful when they're combined with the SUMIF function? In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of all of these functions and how they can be combined to perform quick and efficient data analysis. You're also going to want to hang around till the end of this video for a free gift. Let's start with the SUM function. The goal of the SUM function is to add values, which can be an individual value, a cell, or a range of cells. To complete a SUM function, I start with the formula SUM and then select the cells I'd like to add together. The INDEX function is another really simple but powerful tool. This function returns a value at a location within a specific range. So for example, say I need to know the 2024 sales budget. To find this value using the INDEX function, I start with the formula INDEX. Then I need to select the full table of data. The INDEX function requires the position of the data that I am searching for, so both the row number and the column number. In this case, the data is in row 3 of the selected table and column 6 of the selected table. I add these positions to my formula and the index function pulls the appropriate number from the data set. Now you're probably thinking, I don't know the specific position of my data point offhand. Enter the match function, which will identify that position automatically. To do so, I start the formula with match, then select the data point and the range of data that it falls within, and then I set 0 for an exact match. The match formula returns 3 because the 2024 sales budget is the third item in the set. Before I combine these new functions together, I'm going to tell you about the sum if formula. This function adds the cells specified by a certain criteria or condition. For example, if I want to know the 2022 financial department expense, I start my formula with sum if, then select the range of departments. I set my criteria by selecting the word financial, which exactly matches the department name. Then I need to identify the range where the data I want to sum appears. The sum if formula returns the 2022 actual expense for the financial department, but can be easily adjusted to sum data based on another criteria. The sum ifs function is even more comprehensive, allowing the user to sum data that meets multiple criteria. For example, if I want to know the 2022 sales expense for Sector 5 celebrities, I start my formula with sum ifs, followed by the range where the data I want to sum is located. For this example, that is the 2022 actual column. Then I tell Excel the specific criteria and the range where the data can be found for each set of criteria. So sales within the department column, sector five within the sector column, and celebrities within the activity column. The formula returns the 2022 actual figure for the set of specified criteria. And again, this formula is very simple It's easy to embed the index and match functions within a sum ifs formula to calculate sums quickly and automatically based on multiple identified criteria. For example, I want to know the CS Marketing Sector 4 Media Buying 2024 budget. I start my formula with sum ifs. The 2024 budget data is within columns 4 through 8, so I will use the index and match functions by adding index to the formula and selecting the table of figures. Then I use the match function to automatically return the position of the 2024 budget data by selecting the table headers and entering zero for an exact match. I enter parentheses to complete the index and match functions, and then I have to complete the sum if statement. I tell Excel the specific criteria and range where that data can be found for each set of criteria. So CS marketing within the department column, sector four within the sector column, and media buying within the activity column. Excel returns the appropriate figure, and again, it is very simple to change the criteria in order to update the analysis as necessary. Thanks for watching the full tutorial. If you're frustrated with formulas, formatting, and issues with your spreadsheets, you can get five free templates and training courses on simplesheets.co. Sign up and get a taste of our massive library of more than 100 spreadsheet templates for Excel and Google Sheets.